Well, hello, Rice Lane. Uh, hello, year five and year six. It's great to be back with you. Uh, a new term, a new year, um, and some more assemblies. Uh, still online uh, for the time being. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too long uh, before we can get into the hall and, and see each other in person and, and catch up once again. Uh, but until then, online assemblies and here we go uh, you'll know because you've been in assemblies now with me for a number of years we always want to ask this great big question who is Jesus and in trying to discover who Jesus is we want to discover why he came and why it matters so our big question for this term is who is Jesus and to help us discover the truth about who Jesus is we are going to turn to the Bible yes the Bible because the Bible is God's word to us and it tells us about Jesus um, a couple of questions for us to just think about for a moment or two um, I wonder where you would go if you wanted to find out how you spelt a word or what the meaning of a particular word was what kind of book would you go to i know that's simple for you i know you'll have you'll have said yeah we go to a dictionary and that'll be right wouldn't it i wonder if we asked the question about um trying to find your way to another place where might you go to well, if you're a bit old, you might go to a book called an atlas, which would tell you different countries. It would perhaps in part of the book tell you how to get to various places. If you wanted to know where you could go locally, and you might have to ask your parents or even your grandparents this, there used to be a book called the A to Z which would be a map of all the roads and all the streets and all the houses. And you'd be able to look it up and work a route plan how you could get there. Well, I think now you will just go onto Google Maps and just find out uh, where you get to different places. Well, if we want to know the truth about who Jesus is, we need to discover something from God's word. Now, I know you'll have this in your school, but you'll have a place where there's lots and lots of different types of books, all different types of story writing, all different type, types of genres of writing, uh, different authors. And you would be able to go to the library and you'll have some of those books in your classroom, but you'll have a greater selection in another part of the school. Well, the Bible is like a library of books. Because in the Bible, we've got 66 different books written by different authors over a period of time and in different styles of writing. We've got historical books here. We've got biographies. We've got uh, poetry. We've got love songs. Um, we've got all kinds of different writings in the Bible book. But the one thing about them is this. They all tell the same story. They all have the same thread running through them. And this is the story. It's a story about God, the world, how the world was messed up by something the Bible describes as sin. And God's rescue plan on how he was going to fix things so God and humankind could be in a right relationship once again with each other and that's the thread of the bible that's the bible is god's story about the whole of history history is his story and so we're just going to start off really uh, by thinking about one particular verse in the bible which tells us something about what the bible's like and this is a little memory verse for you. It's found in the book of Psalm, Psalms 119, chapter 119, verse 105. And it's going to come as a little memory verse. It won't be too hard for you to do, but see if you can remember the words, the blanks as they come up on the screen. 
and remember those blank words and they will help us understand something about the Bible. And we're going to come back and visit that in a moment or two. But for now, here's the memory verse and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, how do you get on with that? Uh, just a couple of minutes, wasn't it? I hope you were able to pick up those words uh, from Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, verse 105. Whose word is it? It's God's word. God's word is like a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Now, I don't know about you, but this has happened to me on many occasions. I've been out walking in the dark, and it might be down a, a country lane, it might be in, in a field, it might be a late night walk that we've gone on, um, where there's no street lighting, and you need to have a torch with you. Now, after you've shined your torch in the sky, just to see how strong the beam is and, and how far it goes, what's most important for the beam of the torch or the lamp that you're holding is that you direct the torch down by where your feet are going why because you want it to light the path that you're walking on you want it to light the path so you know the right way to go so you don't stumble you don't trip over something you don't stand in something you you know where the danger edges are and you can see clearly in the dark the right path to go and that's what god's word is to us of course it's all more than that but in its simplest terms that's what god's word is god's word is a light to our feet a lamp for the pathway that we go on it just shows us and it points us to the person of Jesus. It shows us the right way to live, the right way to walk, and ultimately the right way to get to know God. And it is only through the person of Jesus who actually describes himself as a light, the light of the world. 
so that all people can come to Jesus and know the truth about who God is and how God has set about rescuing the world so we could get to know Jesus and get to know God once again. The Bible is God's word to us. And that's all we've got time for this morning in our assembly. It's just tearing us up. The Bible will be the book that we go to, to to discover the truth about who Jesus is. Now you've got a word search to do before I pray and we finish. And the word search will have 15 words on. Words that we'll have used in our assembly and words that you'll find in Psalm 119. See if you can get as many words as you can. You've only got a minute and a half. But see if you can get as many words as you can in the next minute and a half. Um, and then we'll come back together and we'll pray. How did you do? Anybody get more than 10? More than 10? In a minute and a half, you've done really, really well. Um, if you have, um, I wonder if anybody got the, all the 15. Well, we'll see another time. Let me pray for us as we finish um, our assembly. Lord Jesus, thank you for our time together this morning in our assembly. We just pray that you continue to watch over the children and staff and families that are represented by Rice Lane School. And we ask and pray that in our assembly time together, we might enjoy a good time together and discovering the truth about you, Jesus, and your word for us. Amen.